Hello everyone. So today I thought I'll probably share uh, a very simple but useful uh, trick. Not a trick; it's a feature in uh, org mode. But it is not really a feature of org mode. It is more about uh, LaTeX. Now, when you are using org mode to create wonderful documents, it could be a book, it could be a proposal, it could be an invoice, it could be whatever. thing that you're trying to do maybe you're writing a research paper you may want to have headers and footers now when you set up your uh, org mode file let us say you're working on a on a document and you want to have uh, those footer or headers you can very easily you can do that and uh, you can actually do it uh, either by inserting this line called uh, latex_header in your org file but the way i work is i usually have a separate set of file where i keep these uh, latex based uh, headers and i have couple of those files one for my professional work one for my own personal work and uh, i mean when i say professional i'm talking about my company sparkses i have for example if this if i'm working on this particular document this particular document will have the the lines on top like in the header and also in the footer and i have like in the footer may like i mention my company name and page number few the details but if but if i'm just writing a book i don't really care about these lines now the way to do it and in, in fact uh, i showed you how to insert horizontal horizontal line you can actually do it using five consecutive dashes in your org mode in your org file but if you are trying to have these uh, uh, lines in the footer so you can actually do that with the help of uh, basically this uh, uh simple this simply this simply by adding this line uh in your uh, org file and of course you know this is something that i found recently from stack overflow and this works really 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 well i'll probably show you my complete uh, set of file and uh, this will prob- probably give you an idea about uh, let me let me show you my file if i can find it it should be open if not let me open it so the file is actually in my home directory my emacs home directory and uh, this is basically the file which is this one so if you look at this particular uh, file i i am of course uh, using few things that are specific to my needs i mean you don't to be honest you don't really need to have each and everything but uh, this is of course based on uh, my needs i wanted to of course create a document uh, with some custom width at the same time some uh, other changes that i want to do so for example if i if i show you this footer i have this uh, company name and company url mentioned in the footer but using this line simply by adding this line I mean, if you do a Google search, how to add a horizontal line in your footer, you will find few wonderful Stack Overflow articles. So, uh, those articles will tell you to add this line in your org file, or maybe in your LaTeX file, because if you are doing it directly within LaTeX, you just need to insert uh, this line. That is it. But the good thing about org mode is that org mode works really well along with LaTeX. So you have all the power of org mode. But when you are exporting it to LaTeX, you can use this set of file. a separate set of file just for latex based uh, configurations so a very simple solution to a very simple requirement uh, and uh, i thought i'll probably share this with all of you because you may want to do it and that is it and by the way if you are watching my video for the first time i make lot of videos on emacs org mode this i mean on this channel i think majority of my channel majority of my videos are on org mode and uh, recently i have started using latex for uh, writing documents for example i am writing books uh, in latex using org mode i am also now writing my client proposals i am also exploring if i can use uh, org mode latex for uh, making my invoices which i can and i will be talking about uh, uh, i will be talking about uh, how to perform calculations for example when you generate an invoice you want to basically have some numbers right but you don't really want to do it manually all the time because uh, in your invoice you have numbers you have some like for example let us say you are selling a service or you are selling a service for 
X number of days. And based on your day rate, you have to perform some calculations on the fly. I mean, of course, you can do it manually because it is just a simple table. But why do it manually if you can do it automatically by simply adding this number of days somewhere in your org file and then perform the calculations. Let org mode perform the calculations. So I'll, I'll show you in a separate video, not in this video. And that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.